it's day two of the corona shutdown, so I decided that I'm going to just check out some Bloomington graffiti. Pretty much during this time, the closest thing I'm going to have to remembering the old Bloomington before all this happened was the graffiti. This one says B-Town and Tifa is 12. I miss those days. You know, it used to be just like you could just look and know some good ones would pop up, you know? Like my level for Bloomington Graffiti, I wanted to be very, very low brow. I almost wanted to look rushed, you know? Almost like you have a message, but you thought out, but you need to get it out in a hurry. Thus, stay fly, 69. This one just says loser like an emoji face. This whole building right here is just like a free for all. If you can come here at night, you can spray paint it. I don't really think they take it down. I think other people with spray paint just cover things. F you loser, right there. Wow, you see how this is getting more complicated? We thought that this was the only one. False. F you loser. This town is getting more and more interesting. Off in the distance here, we just have one that just says soap. You know, there used to be a time where I'd be like, why soap? But nowadays, with the pandemic, you know, things just make way more sense now. There's been so many changes in such a short amount of time. I mean, two weeks ago, I was just tattooing, feeling like I was really busy. And then all of a sudden, the great pandemic broke out and we are all in the same boat. I mean, oh shit, we got a new graffiti. We have another one. Okay, so we can see that soap has a more elaborate handle, unless I'm completely wrong. See, a part of me says, that says loser on the top, and that says soap. Brat? Okay, I'm thinking this it loser? That is loser. You see that? You see that little emoji face? And soap. I think Loser and Soap are the same person. Let's uh, explore more. Okay, and not even too far from that. We've got more Soap. All right, so Soap is somebody who can for sure do just a really quick hand motion. But the question is, is Soap and Loser the same person? Seems like this is kind of Soap's path, Soap and Loser. So I'm thinking if we just explore more, we might find out. We've just stumbled upon our first ghost. Ghost by far is my favorite Bloomington graffiti figure. Typically, ghost has facial expressions and to see how ghost typically is, all you have to do is look at this wall. All right, so it looks like someone tried to pressure wash this one already. But typically ghost, a good ghost to me, has good form and then some kind of facial expression. This one's looking more like the vampire. Definitely a fan of ghosts, hoping to find more in this journey today. All right, we've got Crank. Crank is popular around town, definitely seen that. Red penis, new, no, have not seen that one. Can't tell exactly what it says, but it's just so hard to read. See, to me, this is like the high art of Bloomington Graffiti. Okay, and then continuation on the other one we found. See, Bloomington Graffiti is definitely more about message. Whoever did this though, you can tell they have like good style, good hand control. Love is the law. That person's new, never seen them before. In the distance is the greatest goat of all time. Some say this is not graffiti. To me, this will always be graffiti. 
This is the famed Johnson on top of this tall pole. I have no clue how long Johnson has had their name on that big pole, but that is the biggest pole in Bloomington and Johnson has always won it. Graffiti, personal, we'll never know. When it comes to just regular graffiti, you've got on the trail all this more like high-end graffiti, great stuff. It's just, that's not what I'm interested in. I'm more interested in just the free form. What are we thinking about? This prank keeps getting deeper and deeper. How is it that they got something called Johnson's Creamery? Stop it. Stop it, Bloomington. You are, you are out of control today. Okay. Loser and Brat are for sure the same person. I mean, what are the odds that they have the same spray paint? You know what I mean? It's just like one style, another style, but I think that Loser, Brat, and Soap are the same person too. All right, because the thing is, I think Soap is the newest, but this artist has many styles and really ends up being versatile. You can't even tell which one who's who. Oh my God, stop it. This is, this is insanity. What do you think it says right there? So, bro, this shit is getting, cr stop it. Look at that, brat, loser. Brat, loser, and soap have taken over the whole town. This shit is crazy, bro. I wonder what's over here. Am I secretly just like a brilliant detective? Where you see soap, you see brat, you see loser. Or, or, what could it be? We are now among a lot of Bloomington graffiti. A lot, a lot. We are by the back door. We've now got stuff or we've got the high-end graffiti. We've got styles. We got the high art. You can't even read it. Try to. Loser. There again. Loser. There again. Boring. Now that was one that I loved. I loved seeing boring. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at this one. I'm not gonna say that for you, but it's fire. Now this spot right here is a little bit of a mecca. Now you see how we've got graffiti all over. We've got graffiti all under. We got stuff that you just painted on. We got the fancy things. We even got Loser, bro. How is Loser doing this town like this? Oh shit, Corey's up there. Hey, yo, Corey! Hey, yo, Corey! I see you up there! That's my girl. Hey, yo, Ma. Hey, yo, Ma, let me holla at you. What do you mean what I want? I'm finna look at you. Tell me something fine. Drink water. What up, queen? Babe. Yeah. Found out something really important. What? There's a graffiti writer who goes by loser, soap, and brat. And I think Wait, they like might all three names. I think they might all be the same person. Loser, soap, and brat? It's like loser is one, brat is another, and soap is the final. Why do you think they're the same? Because wherever I find one, I find one of the others. 
What if they're friends? It's maybe that, but it's like they're sharing the same paint. Friends share things. Babe, I've been making it a detective story about this oh. whole journey. <laughs> How are you spending your time during the pandemic? Just really peaceful. Just practicing loving kindness. That's really it. You're practicing loving kindness? Yeah, it's a like mindfulness. You ain't being mindful of my room. You're the one who never cleans it. It's not my responsibility to clean your room. You are responsible for you. And I am responsible for me. But you still with me, though. Couldn't meet anybody in these times, anyway. <laughs> you laughing at your own jokes. <laughs> yeah. Is that a love letter to me? No. It could be. It's not, though. Okay. What's it, what's it about? It's, it's just my thoughts on how I'm processing all of this and what it all feels like. It's not for public consumption. Okay. Well, I'm going to edit day one of the Corona vlog. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. All right, babe. Bye.